Welcome back. This is Rich again, back for an exclusive YouTube video blog. Today's YouTube video blog is about eating contests and what I think of that. But first, these very important message of interest. Don't forget, face. Don't forget, YouTube fans, to follow Crystal's Time Machine on Facebook at the official Crystal's Time Machine Facebook page, the official Crystal's Time Machine group page, and Game Show fan page, and follow Crystal Johnson on YouTube at YouTube One Exclusive Video Week. Also follow her on X at Crystal Amy John and Machine Crystal. Follow her on Instagram at Crystal Johnson and listen to the radio show Crystal's Time Machine every Friday and Saturday night from 9 to 11 p.m. on WCAP 980, where everybody gets it. If you can't catch the show live, listen to the podcast exclusively on archive.org and listen to um, the podcast of Crystal's Time Machine exclusively on archive.org. Goes back to October 2015. And say hello to Broadway Pizza, the official sponsor of Crystal's Time Machine. If you say the promo code Crystal's Time Machine, $2 off your meal. So that is pretty, pretty good. Okay? And now, on to the feature presentation, Eating Contest. When I'm recording this video, it's July 4th. And July 4th means one thing. Besides um, the independence of the United States of America from Great Britain back in 1776, it means the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest, which has been usually dominated by... Joey Chestnut, but Joey Chestnut's no longer going to participate in any, many, any other Nathan hot dog eating contest because he's sponsoring um, something that is vegan and hot dogs aren't vegan. And so anyway, um, eating contest, um, the most popular eating contest is the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest. There's some people who participate in this could eat as much as um, 60 to 70 hot dogs in a sitting. That's so much. And I just don't now know how they train for this. Maybe they do not eat a couple of days before it. They might only maybe drink water, but, you know, consuming 70 um, hot dogs in a very short amount of time, it just isn't, isn't good, because you could, you know, vomit all of it. Plus, it's, I don't know how good your metabolism is for it. It could also cause, like, digestion problems, or maybe, worst case scenario, have a heart attack. Also, other eating contests they have throughout the world. Um, usually, when they have ice cream festivals, they have ice cream eating contests. Also, pizza eating contests for pizza festivals, for food festivals, and other eating contests. In fact, um, major league eating is competitive for people who are professional eaters. While eating contests are fun for some people, it's just uh, ridiculous for others because it's just, it, who, who wants to see people watch an eating contest to see who they could eat the most hot dogs or hamburgers or pizza or ice cream or etc. Maybe not too many people, but... There's an audience for it, but I just don't know uh, how they would like it if, if somebody eats too much and then they vomit. Or this might get some people's ideas that eating excessively just for fun, for fun is pretty cool, but it's not because it, you could get very, very sick from it. And eating contests, even though they're entertaining, they, you know, they should not be, um, they should it should take place, but, you know, very civil. And 
They don't make a big deal out of it. It's just a form of entertainment, in my humble opinion, which, you know, I don't know if I like it or not. It's just, let's just say it's not something I would want to watch over and over again. And that's about it on that. I'll be back for another exclusive YouTube video blog next week. Bye now.